The scripture says in chapter 1 of Mark, verse 35, In the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. Jesus began his day alone with God. How many times have I mentioned that to you about starting the day with prayer and getting alone, having a quiet time? If you're going to be a follower of Jesus, a follower does what the leader does, right? Well, somebody says, well, I pray. How often do you pray? Well, once in a while. No. If you are really a follower of Jesus, prayer is a major part of your life. In fact, how do you start the day off of living in this world without talking to God? And how do you go to sleep at night with perfect security without talking to God? How do you face the issues in life without prayer? That is, prayer should be a habit, and not only a habit, but a very important part of our life. And early in the morning, while it was still dark, he arose and he went and departed to a lonely place. And he was praying there. Jesus, he demonstrates for us that to be stirs of revival, that even when the whole city is at our door, when there's a need at church, there's a need at work, there's a need with this group of friends, there's a need even over here, everywhere, people are pulling at us and tugging at us, and our schedules are busy and full and replete with things to do. Put first things first so that we build margin into our lives, so that early in the morning, if that's the best time for you, what that symbolizes is priority wherever you need to put it in your life so that you have prioritized intimate time with the Father. Jesus knew, even if everybody is knocking at my door, I'm not going to let everybody else's expectations of me determine what I do with my time. I'm gonna have some supernatural priorities. I'm gonna put first things first and keep the things that are most important to my Father. I'm gonna make sure those things are also most important to me. Mark 1.35, and in the morning, long before daylight, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. So there's evidence all over the Bible that Jesus, first thing, spent time with God. And so why was Jesus up early? As the Bible reminds us in several places, up early before day, because Jesus, the Son of God, knew that he needed that time to be alone with his heavenly father to listen to the father all of us none of us are in such a situation that we are so complete within ourselves that we don't need god's direction all of us need to take time to listen to god if i start my day with god he stays in the front of my mind all day it's like a continuing conversation that gets started it lets God set the agenda. It's let, it lets him set the, the pace. It puts God in control if I start just by giving the, the first part of my day to him. Somebody once said that God is your commander in chief, so don't forget your daily briefing. You have to slow down because God is never in a hurry. And you can't hear God's voice if you're just rushing all the time. You have to slow down to hear what he wants to say to you. That's why you have to get up a little bit earlier so you're not just rushing into your day and you don't have time. So you just find a quiet place, you grab your Bible, maybe a journal, get a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you, you want in the morning and just go spend a few minutes with the Lord. Here's what Jesus said about it in Matthew 6. He said, here's what I want you to do. Just find a quiet, secluded place so you won't be tempted to role play before God. You're not gonna to try to put on airs or impress anybody. He says, just be there as simply and honestly as you can manage. And the focus will shift from you to God and you will begin to sense his grace. Start with just a moment of prayer, a simple moment that says, Lord, here I am, I'm ready. I wanna hear from you today. Would you just open my eyes, open my ears, open my heart to whatever it is you want to say. 